Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So I do want to make another video talking about the aftermath, right? I want to talk about the reactions about the Barcelona v Bayern match that did end 8-2 too because there has been a lot of reactions from the media and from the players stating that my, some players might leave and that the pl and that the club is finished and so I do want to talk about that in this video and I'm also going to be talking about who are the players that I do expect to be replaced within these next 12 to 18 months because I believe that it is the right time to be talking about this especially knowing that right now with this club going forward there is going to be massive changes so there is either going to be a overhaul or Barcelona is going to go through a whole different direction and so look Barcelona have completely been humiliated for the third time in a row we lost 8-2 against Bayern Munich and we're gonna have to deal with it and have some self-reflection because one of the biggest things that really did bother me about this aftermath is that there is so many players that participated in this match against Bayern Munich that we did have five years ago we had Lionel Messi Luis Suarez Busquets Piquet Alba Rakitic and Sergi Roberto all of these players here are veterans all of these players are 31 years old and I know that just speaking off their age doesn't really tell us much but this is also telling us that Barcelona as a club have not moved on and just to give you guys some more context on how badly Barcelona have been run in over the past five years since 2015 when Barcelona won the UCL Barcelona have spent a total of 1 billion euros since that day where, where we did bring in Ter Stegen, Suarez and Rakitic until this day in 2020 we used 90% of those players against Bayern Munich and again that tells us where Barcelona is at at the moment and that this whole time Bartomeu and everyone that has been participating in this board never really had a project and now we are paying the price for that we also have Piquet who did speak after the match and he said the club needs changes I'm not talking about the coach or the players I am the first to offer myself to leave Barcelona if new blood is to come we all have to think about what's best for FC Barcelona we even have Bartomeu who did speak after the match and he said this it's a scandalous result I congratulate Bayern Munich they played a great game and deserve to go to the semifinals we didn't Piquet is right today was a disaster now it's time to make decisions some of which we already had in mind we'll talk about it in the coming days and so there you have it we have the president of FC Barcelona saying that there's going to be massive decisions that are going to be made within these next one to two weeks and here's the thing that really bothers me right is that I think that Bartomeu does want to fix things he wants to fix this club he wants to change the faces in this club but the only thing that he does not want to change is himself he does not want to remove himself from this club and I honestly do think that that's the first thing that we do need to change so if we are going to have the same president if we are going to keep Bartomeu throughout this summer and we're going to have to wait until June 2021 for the elections to arrive one of the biggest changes that is going to happen in this club is that Setien will not continue with FC Barcelona it is official very reliable media outlets like Fabrizio Romano stated that Setien is going to be fired from FC Barcelona he will be sacked and Barcelona will be looking for a new coach it has also been stated by multiple media outlets that Bartomeu will be firing Abidal and Oscar Grau who are the sporting directors of FC Barcelona and I'm going to go back to what I previously did say this is not enough I think that if we continue to have the same president Barcelona is going to continue to have the same fundamental problems because this is going to be the exact same president we are going to have next season who is pushing for a move of Lautaro Martinez Neymar Jr and is looking to sell players like Todibo only because there is massive profits to be made and we can't continue to spend money like that on players and continue to sell players like Todibo who have massive potential in this club so here's the thing these next one to two weeks we are going to hear a big debate going on in Spain where we are going to have a choice does Barcelona want to appoint Xavi Hernandez or do they want to appoint Pochettino those are the two coaches that Barcelona are going to be looking at and as of now Pochettino is the coach to be favorited to take over FC Barcelona next season this is a coach that has recently stated to the media that he is open to the move he would like to take charge of FC Barcelona and he does regret saying about saying that he would not ever coach FC Barcelona this is a coach that is open to coach the likes of Messi Luis Suarez De Jong and Ter Stegen and it says here that Pochettino was in Barcelona last night and we also have Angelo who stated Xavi and Pochettino are the two main options at the moment the final decision will be made in a few days by Bartomeu Setien will not be the manager for next season and there will be lots of changing from the sporting directing department and this is going to lead me to the next topic and the next section of this video we are going to be talking about the four players that do need to be replaced after seeing the aftermath of Barcelona losing eight 
two. And again, the reason why I do want to talk about this is because in this match, it showed that Barcelona is not winning material. They are far from becoming one of the best teams in the world. And this match did expose all of the flaws and where their weaknesses is at on the field. And this is also the first trophyless season we have had since 2013. And going back to what Piqué said, he said that he will be more than happy to welcome new blood, even if he has to leave himself. So I believe that it is safe to have this conversation. And so the first player that I do want to talk about is Nelson Semedo. This is a player who I have, who I have recently praised in over the past one to two weeks of the way that he timed his runs, the way that he knew when to defend and when not to defend. All of that was completely world class. I was happy with Semedo. I welcomed the five-year extension. But now that we have seen Semedo being put on the big stage, I think that it is safe to say that we do need to bring in a new right back. Because the way that we did see Semedo face Alfonso Davis, he got absolutely schooled. Semedo was not ready for those type of challenges. And so maybe we don't have to get rid of Semedo completely. I think what Barcelona need to do is bring in a world-class right back, a young world-class right back who could come in and bring that tension to Semedo and say, look, you're not going to be the only one that's going to be playing right back 90% of the time throughout the season. I'm also going to be here. I also do want your spot. And I think that that is exactly what Barcelona do need. They need to bring in a right back who is going to bring that tension to Nelson Semedo so Nelson Semedo can feel that competition and have that need to improve his qualities on the field. Moving on to the second player, and that is Jordi Alba. And this is the third time in a row that we have seen Jordi Alba being put on the big stage and act like a complete fool on the field. He was not able to compete with the task that Bayern Munich did bring on the field. And this is also a player that we have been wanting to replace for a very long time. And unlike Nelson Semedo, I think that for Jordi Alba, he needs to be completely replaced, which means that if there's a chance that Barcelona can sell Jordi Alba, I would welcome that and have Barcelona bring in a new left back because I think that Jordi Alba did overstay his stay. I'm happy for what Jordi Alba did bring at FC Barcelona, but you should never overstay your stay. You should know when to leave and when not to leave. And if you do actually want to change FC Barcelona, the first thing that you want to do is to move away the players. That was the reason why we have had those horrific games in over the past three years. Moving on to the third player, and that is Luis Suarez. This is a player who has been favorited out of all the players in this squad to leave as soon as possible. Luis Suarez has been a player that over time we have seen his massive decline. And that goes to the goal scoring form, the assist form, and especially his off the ball work. That is something that Barcelona have been highly dependent on Luis Suarez to do. And to see Luis Suarez not even jog or run on the field is absolutely ridiculous. Because to be a Barcelona number nine, you want to have that number nine that's going to want to get the ball as quickly as possible a number nine that's going to want to force the mistakes from the opposition but Luis Suarez is the complete opposite of that and that is something that Barcelona need to change as soon as possible we need to find a striker that can create for himself and not rely on other players and someone who can do that consistently because that is simply what makes FC Barcelona it is a number nine who can do more than just score goals and that is the type of player Barcelona is going to want and what we want to represent our front line and moving on to the fourth player, and this is going to be a complete surprise. The player that I do want to talk about is Lionel Messi. Now, I know many of you guys might question like, why would you want to replace Lionel Messi? And so just like Nelson Semedo, I don't want Messi to leave FC Barcelona. I don't think that Barcelona should completely replace Lionel Messi. But the point that I do want to bring is this. I think that Barcelona need to start looking whether that's producing or finding a full time proper right winger. Barcelona needs that winger that can make those runs and physically demand more from that opposition's left back. We need a right winger who doesn't necessarily always have to cut in from the right. Because if we look at Barcelona's options right now, we have a player coming in who's emerging who is named Conrad De La Fuente. We also have another player that we have recently signed in this year named Francisco Trincao. And we also have another player who, ha who we have been working on trying to get up there into the big stage who is named Dembele. There are so many great right wingers that Barcelona are connected with and it would make no sense to continue to neglect and reject these players only because we want to continue to put Messi on that right wing area especially knowing that he's about to turn 34 next year I think that if Barcelona want to change and want to completely reinvent their attack and the way that they approach the defense one of the main things they do have to change is to find a proper right winger but that is it let me know 
who are the players you want to see be replaced and again not necessarily be replaced but have a player come in there and demand more from whoever was there in the first place like for example the way that I want to see Semedo be tested is to bring in Serginho Des into this club it's always good to have healthy competition and so let me know who do you want to see tested who do you want to see being replaced and just a side note we are going to hear the official confirmation from FC Barcelona that Kike Setien has been sacked it is official I know that we haven't heard anything yet but that announcement is going to come as soon as possible and just to give you guys a timeline on what's going to be going on within these next two or three weeks right now Barcelona is going to be focused on bringing in a new coach could be either Xavi Hernandez or Pochettino then after they get that situation sorted out Barcelona will be focusing on the transfers that we have been talking about in over the past nine months so that'll be it for today's Barcelona daily news I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video